guys so here I am outside of my local liquor store and yeah you trying to find a liquor store in the area that I live in you know I, I, I tease you know family and friends and say oh I live in a kind of bougie part of town but I have been looking for either gin or vodka you know to use in my daughter's hair because we're still battling the head lice and uh, I think we missed several other little buggers and so they're starting to multiply again and so I was I saw a video that said you know the tea tree is is really good but something that's a little bit better is using a, a strong distilled alcohol um, in your hair let it absorb into you know your hair and that kind of help snuff those little buggers out so needless to say, the last couple days I have been going everywhere I could think of to find um, gin or vodka. And finally, I was like, oh, well, I can go to a liquor store. Well, where the heck is there a liquor store in my area? There are none. So I finally realized, like, oh, I probably need to go to the a little bit less savory, for lack of a better word, part of town to even find a store that a liquor store and so this is like my first experience going into a liquor store so I was like oh my gosh not that it's all crazy and bad or anything like that um it's, it's not a, a super seedy part of town it's actually a part of town that I, I shop at not regularly but I come over here for other things um but oh my gosh you know just finding vodka hello has been like crazy it's been super crazy so let's see what we got inside my goal is to do my daughter's treatments today and see how that goes and it should be um three treatments and the baby girl just walked past me she got no bra on guys and no panties lord help me and she is not a b cup okay so um any hoosies let's do this guys oh my gosh guys okay so first and foremost i like to tell you i did find what i was looking for um i wind up getting gin i'm looking at my bottle over here i wind up getting gin and um so we're gonna see how the gin works in my daughter's hair so in essence what this video calls you to do is to saturate your hair um, with alcohol, either the vodka or the gin, put it in a spray bottle, saturate your hair, put on a shower cap, and then let that sit and make sure the shower cap is as tight as you can get it because we don't want is the air to get in and to evaporate all the alcohol. You want the alcohol to be able to work. So you put your shower cap on. And let that sit for two hours. Come back, resaturate, okay, and sit for another two hours, okay. And then from there, you'll do that treatment. So it's two treatments per day. Um, so so if I do my treatment today, and then it'll be another week next Sunday, we'll do a second round of treatments. So that's you know two two treatments per day, and then wait another week. And do two more treatments so it's six total two per day and that should if your infestation is really really bad they say that that should help get rid of it now if you know guys my daughter has locks and um you guys see my hair my hair is starting to grow back I did cut my hair because I did not realize I had a mad crazy infestation and there's a part of me that thinks that I might have passed it to my daughter to be quite honest because I had so many little nits in my hair that I could not see in the back, like this back section, guys. It was horrible. Um, and at the same time, you know, I, I know I mentioned that my husband, I had my hair in this cute little funky um, cut. My husband's like, yeah, um, you know, he's very conservative. He's very conservative. He was like, you know, you mind cutting your hair, you know. And I was like, oh, whatever, it's hair. And so when I went to cut my hair is when I discovered that I had, you know, the knits and I had hair lice. So I'm kind of grateful. I'm very grateful, actually, that my husband asked me to cut my hair. Because I would not have known the extent of 
the infestation that I had in my hair. So I'm like, man, I'm probably just going to keep my hair short, you know, because that was bad. That was, oof, nasty. But I don't want to cut my daughter's hair, and she does not want her hair to be cut either. And, and I know that would just break her heart. And so I'm trying to do whatever I can to get these jokers out of her hair before school starts, guys. Hello? It's going to be crazy. So we're going to see how this works. I'm glad now I know where my local liquor store is. Thumbs up, you know, for being a step for life. <laughs> and be like, I don't know where to go. And I've also learned that apparently bras are optional when you go into a liquor store. All right, guys. Hopefully you can see. I know I'm bending down, but I'm trying to get the camera um, at Little Mrs. area. So you guys know that we are still battling with hair lice. You know, we did get a lot of them, um, but there were a few eggs that we missed. And so I'm starting to see evidence of them um, coming back. And so what we're going to do today, and I saw a video that talked about um, just another alternative way to use the lice. Now, I use the... I use the tea tree oil and the sesame oil. Y'all saw my other video, okay? So that's what I use in my hair, and that's been really working. But it's not really working for her. And so um, a video that I saw talked about other, I guess, not necessarily more natural ways, but more non-toxic ways to get rid of the hair lice is to use a distilled alcohol like a gin or a vodka to saturate the hair, to wrap the hair up, shower cap or bonnet, you know, um, and then <laughs> what we're going to do is let it sit for a couple hours, guys, and um, then we're going to come back and retreat it, okay, then we'll do it again next Sunday and the following Sunday. Okay, so hopefully that'll help because we want to get her ready for school, guys. Okay, so what I have in my bottle, in the blue bottle, is for who? What? Mommy and daddy only. Yes? Okay, so this is a no touch bottle. It's a no touch bottle, guys. No touch zone? It's a no touch bottle and a no touch zone, mainly because this is alcohol. Okay, um, so she knows we color code everything. So blue means mommy purple means her you can see the little purple sparkles um so if it's in a blue bottle it's no touch guys and so what we're gonna do it's a touch it's a touch so what we're gonna do now remember how i told you to hold this okay pull your hair back and do we hold it loose or super tight super tight super tight mommy's gonna readjust right here over the eyes Super tight. Got it? Can I see my dress? I can see your dress, and everybody on the video can see your dress. Okie dokie, out of chokies. Okay. And there we go. So I'm going to start with my spray bottle right here at the back. Now, where I am seeing most of the activity, guys, is in the center of her head and along the sides. Okay. I did not dilute the alcohol. So this is straight from the gin bottle at my liquor store, which I had trouble finding because I don't drink liquor and I could not tell you I mean other than the grocery store that sells beer and like those little breezy coolers, fruit juice drinks. You okay? Keep it tight. Keep it tight. It's okay. Deep breath. Okay. Not yet. Are you holding super tight? Okay. Mom's gonna do one last round, and then we're gonna put the bonnet on. Got it? Okay. I actually have a double-sided bonnet. Don't take the towel off until Mama says go. Alright, keep it on. Okie dokies. Don't take it off yet. Up to the sky. 
good girl. There you go. That's my little princess. Ooh, look at you and your little purple pink bonnet. Okay, guys, so we are actually leaving this on for two hours. That'll hit us right about bedtime, and then I'm going to resaturate. And then we're going to come back in a week, do it again. You know, make sure we are, again, we got we to gotta go through the whole life cycle, okay? So we missed some. Um... So we're, we're going to try something a little bit different. This one's a little bit stronger than the, the original treatment that I used. The original treatment did work. I know she wants to see herself in the mirror. The original treatment did work for me, um, but it didn't work for her, you know. And that's something you guys need to realize that, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's scalp is different and how you are going to um, react to the treatment might be different guys you know so the tea tree and the sesame mix worked for me where it didn't work for her so that's why we're trying this um mixture and i don't want to use super heavy chemicals in her hair so this is what we're doing she's in her sparkle butterfly dress um <laughs> all right guys you know what the deal is we'll see you guys okay in the next video yeah Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please like, comment, and subscribe.